Hello my fancy falcons, it's your boy Zionic Blader and in this video I will be ranking every Falcron Ultra released in Bakugan Geogun Rising from worst to best. I'll be ranking them by their competitive viability in the Bakugan Pro TCG. The interesting thing about Falcron Ultra is that this is a Bakugan that is capable of double coring. A well trained brawler will be able to take advantage of this and as a result pick up two cores instead of one. So I will be taking that into account when ranking these Bakugan. Double coring is something that was possible in the past, but in the Geogun Rising format became much more reliable and was something quite a few Bakugan could do. But enough talk, let's get on with the list. Number 3, Pyrus Falcron Ultra. Now all these Bakugan in the list are actually able to be good if they double core, so none of these are actually bad, but there has to be a worst to best list so this will be the worst. This Bakugan has a poor core lineup of two green fists which are known for giving moderate boosts in damage. Pyrus Falcron Ultra has a stat line of 600 B power and 2 damage and the effect of gaining 600 B power when on a green fist. Pyrus Falcron Ultra should focus on B power. This Bakugan also must double core to be viable. If it lands on two of its plus 150 plus two green fist cores, it can reach 1500 B power and seven damage, which is very nice. However, having to double core does make it quite risky, even if it's very capable of doing so. Number two, Ventus Falcron Ultra. This Bakugan has an amazing core lineup of Magic Shield and Fire Fist, which are the best cores for boosting B power and damage respectively in the game. Ventus Falcron Ultra has a stat line of 700 B power and 3 damage. Ventus Falcron should focus on B power. When on the plus 650 Magic Shield, it reaches 1350 B power which is too low. However, add the plus 250 B power plus 3 Fire Fist and Ventus Falcron Ultra is at 1600 B power which is great. Ventus Falcron Ultra also has a 10 cost diamond evolution which bumps its stats up to a whopping 3000 B power and 10 damage. Like with all Geogon Rising evolutions, it's extremely difficult to obtain a playset and even then, you'd really only want to use the diamond evolution if you're already winning the brawl due to how expensive it is to use. And number 1, Darkest Falcron Ultra. This Bakugan has a poor core lineup of two green fists. However, what makes Darkest Falcron Ultra special is that it's one of the four Bakugan in Geogon Rising to have a base B power of 900. Giving it another Bakugan's magic shield will let it reach 1550 B power which is great. Plus, with Darkest Falcron Ultra being able to double core, it can reach even higher numbers. However, its base 900 B power and the potential it has as a result from it gives Darkest Falcron Ultra the number one spot on this list. Well, this has been Zionic Blader with my worst to best of the Geogon Rising Falcron Ultras. What do you think? Do you agree or disagree? Let me know in the comment section below. I am really interested to read your opinion since I had a bit of difficulty ranking these Bakugan on the list since double coring adds another layer of competitiveness and luck to the game. Also, let me know your favorite Falcron Ultra released in Geogon Rising, and be sure to hit the like button, or don't, I'm not the boss of you, but be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get updated whenever I upload. Until next time, see ya.